evening, everyone. Welcome to class. Can you guys hear me well? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks for answering. All right. Let me check if everyone's okay accessing the, the code all right okay apparently everything is all right okay. all right welcome to beginner number six welcome back Okay, so let's get started. We are going to we are going to do many things tonight. Okay, this is our first class on beginner number six. Okay, so we're following an agenda. Okay. So. And Remember to help me with your microphones. If if you are talking to family relatives, please turn off your microphones. Thank you. Okay. So, so as I was telling you, we are going to start by talking a little about the Insaforb Institute. We always do this. We want to watch a video and um, tell new students about how things work in this program, okay? So we're going to talk about the NSAFORP and also we are going to discuss the rules for beginner number six. And after that, we are going to have, well, actually before the rules, we're going to have an activity, okay? To get to know each other, all right? And after we discuss the rule, the rules, we are going to have our class. So this is what we're doing. Let's get started with the Insafor explanation. We want to watch a video. Okay, so I'm going to mute your microphones. All right, and we are going to watch the video right now. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insafor. Insafor Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport 
ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insapor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya el apoyo con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de Insafor y de sus derechos colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente Cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista, y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. Insafor, formando en igualdad. Ok, so this is the Insafor Institute. This is an entity that is prepared to train people. Uh, in different aspects of the working fields here in our country. All right, so the program that we are taking right now is only one of the many benefits that this program, that this in institute has. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so we're going to, we're going to work on an activity right now and we're going to play okay so let's see okay so this is a game that is called don't say yes or no okay so there are two things we shouldn't say okay what are those two words that we shouldn't say can you tell me we shouldn't say uh huh. Based on the instructions, we shouldn't say two words. Yes what are those? Or no. Exactly. So we shouldn't say no, and we shouldn't say yes. Okay. Those two words are forbidden. Don't say yes. Don't say no. Are we okay? Yes, Miss. Okay. It's yes, Miss. To say yes for the instructions. Okay. So. I'm going to ask you questions, okay? And for these questions, don't say yes and don't say no, okay? For example, we're going to do the first one together. Okay, so if I say, for example, if I say, Alexander, are elephants gray? What is the way to answer the question without saying yes? or without saying no? How can we answer the question? Sure. It's true. 
It's true. Okay, very good. Okay, sure. Uh huh. Alexander, what do you think? Yes, yes, I uh, uh, elephant right. Oh, but we cannot say yes. Remember, we cannot say yes, and we cannot say no. Oh, uh, it's correct. Okay, very good. We can say it's correct. That Maybe. Correct. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, they are. Oh, but we cannot say yes. You see, we can't say yes and we can't say no. But it is okay to say they are. You see, they are. Ah, oh, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this was an exercise. Okay, so remember, we cannot say yes and we cannot say no. Okay, for example, let's see. Luis Ferman, are frogs purple? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's see. Lisette Abigail, the sun is blue, isn't it? Mm. Incorrect. Oh, incorrect. Very good. Okay, you can give me the correct information. What color is it? Mm -hmm. Is mm, we, we see the sun like yellow. Okay. So you can say it's yellow or it looks mm -hmm. yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, Osmaro, have you ever seen a pink butterfly? Yes. Oh, we cannot mm. say yes and we cannot say no. What what else can we say, Osmaro? What what you Okay, this is the question. Have you ever seen a pink butterfly? But you cannot say yes and you cannot say no. Those two words are impossible to use. So what ah, is okay, the way okay. to answer the question? Um, maybe. Maybe, okay, good, good. Okay, look at, look at the structure of the question, people. What is the tense I'm using? What is the tense I'm using? Have you. Exactly. Okay. And how do we answer positive, positively or negatively? Do you remember the short answer? Positive. Okay. If it's positive, we can say, I have. You see? I have. Okay. Or you can also say, many times. You see? Oh, many times. You see? But we are trying not to say yes or no. Okay. Let's see. Um, the next question goes to Edenilson. Edenilson. Horses have six legs, don't they? Edenilson. Uh, it's incorrect. Oh, how many do they have? Four legs. Okay, very good. Daisy, is no white? Sorry, Miss. Repeat the question, please. Is no white? Is no white? The snow no is white. I, I, I don't see it. But it is incorrect. Oh, okay. What color is it then? The color is white. Oh, okay. So, is no white? Snow white. Oh, oh only snow. Is snow white? You see? It's a question and I'm speaking about snow. Is the snow yes. white? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is snow white? Is it white? Ah, okay. Is, is, is correct. Oh, it the is correct. Snow is white. Oh, okay, very good. Snow is white. Okay, very good. Before we continue, before we continue, I need you to help me remember how do you how do you pronounce these two words? Okay, how do you pronounce the first one? Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh-uh. We don't say incorrect. Can you try again? What do we say?
Okay, let's try to remember Correct. number two. How do we pronounce number two? Correct. 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 Exactly, we say correct. Uh -huh. So, if we say correct, the first one, how do we pronounce it? Incorrect. 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 One more time. Incorrect. 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 Okay. Correct. So, we have positive is? Correct. Okay. Correct. And the negative form is? Incorrect. 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 Listen, correct. We need to say correct again, but we say in. Incorrect. You see? Okay, it's the same. One more time. How do we say it in the negative form? We say, uh huh. Incorrect. Exactly. Incorrect. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, we have another. We have another set. Let's see. Remember, we don't say yes and we don't say no. Okay, let's see. All right, I have list number two. Okay, let me let me say your name and here we go. Medardo, do you always sleep in the kitchen? <laughs> no, no. Sorry, can you repeat never. that? Never, miss. Never, I, okay. I know I sleep in the kitchen. All right, great. Pamela Hernandez, do you have breakfast in the bathroom? Mm, is uh, it's probably probably okay carlos fernando gaitan do you take a shower in the bathroom yes miss is correct oh you you don't have to say yes or no yes uh -uh. you don't have to say yes don't say yes and don't say no so how can you answer do you take a shower in the bathroom yes uh-uh you don't have to say yes 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 i do <laughs> okay okay i know it's hard <laughs> so carlos yeah we don't say yes and we don't say no this is the game you see ah, okay. we don't say yes and we don't say no okay okay uh-huh so how can you answer the question but not saying yes and not saying no I what teach it. I, I don't I don't understand. Okay. What is the auxiliary in the question? <clears throat> Anybody can help. What is the auxiliary in the question? Do. 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 Okay. So when you answer a question with do, what is the short answer? Affirmative. I don't. Oh, we say I don't. Okay. And if I say I don't, okay, what is the positive way? I do. I do, okay. And you are you are answering affirmatively and you are not saying yes. Okay, so Carlos, when I ask you the question, say I do. Okay? Okay, okay, miss. Okay. So do you take a shower in the bathroom? Yes, I do. Uh uh, don't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, one more time. Don't say yes. Okay, so one more time, Carlos. Do you take a shower in the bathroom? Yes. Uh uh, don't say yes. Just say I do. Can you look don't at the ah, don't, yes. don't say okay, don't say yes. Okay, uh, one more time. Do you take a shower in the bathroom? It's correct. Okay. Can you repeat I okay. do? I do. For example, Luis Ferman, do you take a shower in the bathroom? I do. Okay, Carlos, do you take a shower in the bathroom? I do. Good, very good, okay. <laughs> okay so, miss. what other possibilities can we say? For example, anybody else, do you take a shower in the bathroom? What can you guys say? Always. 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 Okay, okay very good, nice. Okay, let's continue. Um, let's see. We're going to ask Jose Alonso. Jose, um, do you have a TV in your bedroom? We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, but you don't have to say yes. Oh, oh. 
I have, have one. I have, I have one. I have, a I have one. one. Exactly. I have one. I do. Yeah. Good. Good. Sorry. Good. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Um. Let's see. Victor Ramirez, do you brush your teeth every morning? Sometimes. Uh, okay. I do. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Jacqueline Noemi, do you have a pet? Sure. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so remember, the job the job we must do is answer the question without saying yes or without saying no. Let's see. Stephanie Michelle, is Brad Pitt a teacher? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, okay, very good. What what is he? Can you tell me? He's an actor. He's an actor. Okay, very good. Carla Patricia, is he a cook? Brad Pitt, is he a cook? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. Uh, Mariela, so he's an actor. What? We're speaking about Brad Pitt. So, he's an actor. True. Oh, sure. True. Okay, good. Nice way to answer. Okay, very good. Um, all right. So Javier Mancia. Angelina Jolie is his mother, isn't she? We're speaking about Brad Pitt. Mm, um, Angelina Jolie. She is a she's a mother. Oh, okay, but we're speaking about Brad Pitt. So, Angelina Jolie is Brad Pitt's ah. mother? Uh-huh. She's a husband. Oh, okay, she's his, repeat with me. She's his? She's his? Wife. She's his husband. His wife. Ah, his wife. Husband. Ah, it's, yes. It's, it's the other way. Exactly. A man. Exactly. Okay. okay, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, and the last one, Madeline, does he have two children? Does Brad Pitt have two children? Uh, can you repeat your question, please? Sure, I can. Does he have two children? Does Brad Pitt have two children? Uh, yes. We don't yes. have to say yes or no, Madeline. You have to answer the question without saying yes or no. Yes, he is. Uh-uh, do not say yes. Oh. Um. Okay. So, does Brad Pitt have two children? Uh, he has... Mm. He has? Uh, How many? And two children. He has two children. Okay, very good. Okay, so to end the questions with this last question here, people. If I say, does Brad Pitt have two children? What do you think you can tell me? In a short, positive answer. For example, he does. exactly, we can say he does. You see? He does. You see? So you can see it's not always necessary to say yes, you see? So you can say he does, she is, okay? Depending on the question, they are, you see? Very good job, very good job, people, very good. You guys are good at following instruction. Okay, so let's continue to the next part of our agenda, okay? So we have talked about the ENSOFORB, we have done an activity, now let's check the class rules, okay? This is for you to, this is for you to remember um, how things, how things work, okay? So let's see. Okay, so class rules, how are we going to, <clears throat> how are we going to take our classes? 
Okay, before we talk about the rules, we need to remember why we are here, okay? So I'm going to ask you the question, why are you learning English? We need to remember this. Why are you, re why are you learning English? Okay, so I'm going to ask a few of you. Let's see. Um, Erika, Erika, why are you learning English? Can you tell us? Um, because um, the I speak a uh, listening uh, English, um, listening okay. music, I read a book, uh, to practice uh, for myself. Okay, so because because I want to practice for my son, you say okay. So you want to help your son? Okay, so that's good, very good. Let's see. Um, let's ask Brenda Yvette. Brenda, why are you learning English? Um, I learn English for a better job. Very good. All right. Let's see, Jacqueline Noemi, why are you learning English? Watch a English video. Oh, the, the question is why? Tell me the reason. Why? Okay, okay. Um, for a graduation in the university. Oh, okay. So we're going to say to graduate. Repeat with me. To graduate from. To graduate. From, from university. university. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's continue with, let's see. Pamela, why are you learning English? <coughs> because uh, the same to relate from university mm -hmm. and open the door. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Or oh, how or more opportunities okay can you repeat this uh, because to more opportunities oh to open doors repeat with me to open doors uh, to open doors mm -hmm. the, to more opportunities okay great gabriela reyes why are you learning english uh, because I like and I want a new job. Okay, can you repeat it for me? It's because it's on the screen. Like <coughs> mm -hmm. Because I like it, I like it, I want I want a new job. Great, very good. So as you can see, guys, we have similar similar reasons why we want to learn English. And that is what we are doing right now and what we are going to do in every class. So every time we come here at eight o'clock from Monday to Friday, we are going to work hard to complete or to achieve these goals, you see? because this is important for university. This is important for work. This is important, important for you to get more money. And this is important for you to feel better, you see? If you speak good English, you feel better, you see? And uh, we are learning English because we want to use it later or because we are using it right now. Okay, so in order to, in order to, achieve these goals, okay? We are going to follow the rules, okay? And you guys are going to help me read the rules. You see, to reach my goal, I'm going to... Stephanie, Michelle, can you help us read the first one? Okay, be in class every day. Exactly, very good. How many times, how many times can you miss a class? And everything first is okay. Time. There you go. So four times you can be absent from class. Okay, four times. No more than that. 
because your attendance will get affected, okay? And uh, your attendance is important for this program to be free, okay? So if you want to take free classes, you have to be here. Your attendance has to be good, okay? So four times is okay. Now, if you are absent from class more than four times, um, then your attendance will go down and maybe you won't be eligible for classes in the next in the next modules so come to class every day and everything will be okay so alexander what is number two take notes very good this is very important if your memory is great then you don't have to take notes but if you know that your memory needs a little help take notes to remember things later okay now number three says let's ask let's ask daisy stephanie okay what is the next one speak in english all the time this is indispensable okay remember if you send me a message to my private whatsapp or to the whatsapp group it has to be in English, okay? If the message is for me, Adriana, your teacher. If the message is for Jessica Diaz or for anybody else, okay, you can do it in Spanish. But if you want to ask me something, do it in English because I'm here to practice. You see, this is why I'm here. So I am the person you can practice with. So don't message me in Spanish because we, you and I, we speak Spanish, okay, since we were children, but we want to speak English right now. Okay, then let's see, the next one is, Luis Ferman, help us read the next one. This one here. Sorry, sorry. Participate okay. during the class. Oh, okay, very good, very good. So you see? These are live classes, you see? Participate, open your microphones. You see, this is not a movie that you are going to watch every night. No, this is a class and you need to participate because it's good for you, okay? So the next one is, Carlos Fernando, can you help us read the next one? Had my camera, um all the time good i know that sometimes you cannot um turn on your cameras but if it is possible for you turn your cameras on because communication is better when we can see each other you see all right then we're going to ask let's see lisette abigail can you help us read this one here Okay, we're going to ask Gabriela Reyes. Let's see. Com, com play. Uh, be in a quiet place to avoid interruption. Okay, very good. And then let's see. So yeah, be in a quiet place because if you are talking to your family, or if your family is watching TV around you, we are all going to listen to that. And that is not good for everybody. So try to be in a place where there is not noise. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, Mariela. <clears throat> okay. And then the last one, okay, this is also very important and we're going to ask Medardo to help us read it. Complete all the activities during the class and all the activities. Exactly, very good. Okay, so we have class activities and we also have homework on Schoology. So let's see, it works like this. So on Schoology, we have four assignments, four homework assignments. 
And uh, if you complete it, complete this, you will cover the 10% of your progress. On Schoology, we also have two forum participations that will help you cover another 10% of your progress. So in these two forums, I'm going to ask you questions and you just have to answer them. Now, the next one says, Schoology, two written exams. After unit number two, we are going to do an exam on Schoology. And after we complete week number four, we are going to do another written exam. And that will help us cover 20% of our progress. And then on Schoology, we also have two speaking evaluations that help us cover 40% of our progress. These two speaking evaluations um, are done through audios that you upload on Schoology. Um, for new students, I'm going to explain how to do homework at the time we need to do homework. And then the last one is class participation. That's 20% of your progress. So this is to help you feel encouraged to participate in class. So don't do it for, for the score. Do it because you want to learn, okay? So this is the evaluation system that we use in this program, okay? So do you have any questions for me so far before we continue? Any questions? Teacher, we can hear you. You are mute. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it's class time now. So for new students, I'm not sure. I think we have a few new students. So my name is Adriana Gomez and I'm going to be your facilitator this module. Okay, so let's get started now. We are going to read the general objective. Alexander, help us read the general objective. Okay. Participants will, will develop mm -hmm. competencies that will allow them to respond to questions regarding qualifications mm -hmm. and personal recruit recruiting. Recruiting and selection processes in addition in addition to other situation at the workplace thank you okay so we say recruiting one more time recruiting recruiting mm -hmm. and selection processes and selection processes there you go thank you very good so um this module is about um speaking mm. about um abilities qualifications okay related to people working in different places now let's see carlos gaitan help us read the class objective uh, participant participants talk about their abilities at work there you go okay so this is what we're doing right now we want to talk about our abilities what is the word that we use um, to talk about abilities? Do you remember? A word that we can. use. Exactly, we say can, very good. All right, so I have a conversation here where we use can and the negative form, can't. You see, it's longer, can't, can't, all right? So for this, we are going to ask Luis Ferman. You're going to be André. And let's see, and Edenilson, you are going to be Ben. So here we go, three, two, one, action. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is André Rivera. Edenilson? It's not there, maybe. Jose Alonso, are you there? Mm 
Not there either. Let's see, Medardo, are you there? Yes, driving. Okay, Medardo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yes, yes, you're yes. driving. You're driving. No, that's fine. Thank you. All right. Okay. You got you drive. You drive okay. safely. There you go, Alexander. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, I start again. Sure. Uh, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualif qualification? Wow. Mm -hmm. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner. I can get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get it. Where we can you start? Oh, that's so, that's so fast. Okay, very good, very good. So what is happening right now, people? Can you tell me? What's the situation? It's an uh, interview for um, a new uh, person. Okay, exactly. For new personal, for a new job, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, very good. And what, what do they need the person to know or to do? Uh, just, just speak uh, Chinese. Okay. What else? English. Okay. And very good. Management uh, groups and projects. Oh, very good. So you see, manage, you see, manage groups. Very good. Okay. So you see, so when we speak about abilities of any type, work related in this case we can use can for describing the abilities that we have okay so for example i can ask you the question form can you can you for abilities let's see question number one is can you count backwards can you count backwards you see like yes. this like this uh huh. Can you count backwards? There you go. Okay, that was easy, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, let's see. Alexander, give me the name of a classmate. Give me the name of a classmate. Um, Daisy. Daisy, okay, Daisy, can you name three countries in <laughs> Europe? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, um, for a member, uh, for Spain, okay, Spain, uh huh, the other Italy, mm -hmm. and Germany. There you go, so. Daisy can, you see, Daisy can name three countries in Europe. She can, you see, can. Can is the short sound, can, can. You see when it's positive. All right, wonderful. Okay, Daisy, give me the name of a classmate. <laughs> Okay, uh, Alexander. Okay, take back time, Alexander. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Alexander, can you name three types of pets? Okay, um, dogs, cats, okay. and rabbits. There you go. Easy for you. Okay, so we say Alexander. Let's do it like this. So we say Alexander can, one more time, can name three types of pets you see that's easy all right very good 
Alexander, give me the name of another classmate. Okay. Um, Daisy, I know. <laughs> <laughs> not, not for a second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We can try with someone else. Luis Ferman. Luis. Okay. Thank you. So, Luis. <clears throat> okay. One second. Okay. So, can you whistle, whistle the happy birthday song? Whistle. Whistle is a... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> what is whistle, teacher? There you go. <laughs> okay, that didn't sound nice. Okay, but that's, that's the whistle. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Very good job. Very okay. good. Yeah, okay. So we say Luis, okay, can whistle. whistle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the happy birthday. Uh -huh. Very good. So he has that ability. That's an ability. Okay, so let's see. Um, Luis Ferman, can you give me the name of another participant? <clears throat> Give me the name of a participant. No, I think we lost him. Let's see. We're gonna have to ask Alexander one more time. Alexander, give me the name of another participant. <coughs> um, Estrella. Okay, we'll see if Estrella is available. Uh, oh. mommy. Yes. You are okay. 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 Very slowly, but I try. Go ahead. Okay. C Y M X. Uh. uh a w. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, a T S. Uh -oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> now we said W and then let me see. Sure, let me see. <laughs> Wait a few seconds, please. Sure, no problem. S okay, okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. 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 Only backwards. <laughs> backwards, yes. Only backwards. Okay. Okay. Oh. I know it's hard. I know. Let's give you a hand. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let, let, let me. Let me. Let me check. Let me check. Um, I'm showing. I'm showing my screen right now. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, W B U uh, G S R Q P O N M O K J I H G F T D C B A. Exactly. Very good. I know it's hard. Okay. Very good. Very yeah, good. Yeah, it's hard. I forget. No, no problem. And besides, you are you are very busy right now, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, we can say Estrella, we're going to take notes. So we say Estrella has that ability. Okay, so we say Estrella can say the ABC backwards. You can repeat with me at home. Backwards, backwards. Backwards. You see? backwards. Exactly. KW sounds like coup. Backwards, you see? Okay, very good. All right, let's see. <clears throat> um, 
Stephanie Michelle, can you spell the teacher's last name? Spell the teacher's last name. Uh-huh. G. G-O-M-E. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very good. C. Very good. Okay. There you go. So we can say Stephanie can spell the teacher's last name. You see, that's another ability. Okay. And then Stephanie, give me the name of a classmate. Pamela. Pamela. Can you name 10 capital cities, Pamela? <clears throat> name okay. 10 capital cities. Mm, one. Mm, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Two. And... <laughs> and... Uh, Washington DC. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I. <laughs> uh, Bruselas. Bruselas, okay, very good. Bruselas and um, uh, Ottawa in Canada. Okay. Uh, um, Santiago, uh, okay. uh, Chile. Mm -hmm. Bogota. Okay, Bogota. Mm -hmm. Bogota and San Jose. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica. Sure. And Quito. Okay. Ecuador. And Madrid in sure. Spain. And the last one? Uh, last one, Paris in France. There you go. Very good. All right. So, yeah, we can say Pamela, you see, can name 10 capital cities. Very good. Okay. So, so you see, we use can for abilities. Okay. This is going to be the last one. Pamela. Who is the last participant? Can you tell me? Um, uh, Gabi Reyes. Okay, Gabriela, are you there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Gabriela, help me write your name in the full way every time you enter, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to, to share my screen again. Okay. Oh, one second. Okay, so, <clears throat> Gabriela, the instruction is, can you say red lorry, yellow lorry five times very fast? Uh, I say. Yes, you have to say it. You have to say this five times. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, red, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow 
Lowry? I don't know. Oh, you stopped. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see. Was it Medardo? You were saying that? <clears throat> yes, miss. Okay. Red lorry, yellow lorry. 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 Okay, yeah. very good. It's quite hard. This, I know. This is not, I know. It's not fast. <laughs> it has to be very fast, like red lorry, okay. yellow lorry. Really, really fast. But with time, we can we can get it with time, right? Okay, very good. So. Speaking about abilities, you see, we use Ken for talents, talents and abilities, you see. So we have three examples over here, you see. We use the positive form Ken for abilities and talents that we have, okay. What do we say when we do not have an ability or a talent? We use the negative form, can't, can't, you see. Notice how can is for all subjects. I can, you can, she can, he can, it can, we can, and they can. Good. This is the same for all subjects. And when it's negative, it's the same. We say can't. I can't. Listen, I can't. You can't. You see, she can't. And when we have a question, it's very important to always say can, and then the subject, can you. Uh, for example, when you are working in groups and you say, you can share the screen, you see, in this case, this is not a question because we need to say, can you? Can you share? Exactly. So this would be the right where to ask the question you see if you're asking a question say can first okay oh. uh-huh or who can who can share the screen exactly we can also use wh question words before can we can say who can oh very good this is more general but this is great so we can say the direct form using the auxiliary right at once, or we can use a WH question. Very good contribution, thank you. Okay, so this is how we ask questions. All right, so we use can for talents and abilities. Okay, so for example, these are five things that we all can do, you see? We can taste, you see. Uh, we can taste what? What can we taste? Can you tell me? We can taste. The what donut. do we taste? A donut. A donut. In general, we can taste? Donuts. Okay. And in general, if I say donut, what, what part of information is donut? What do you eat? What is the name of the thing that you eat? Uh-huh. And food. chocolate donut. Okay, very good. We can taste food, right? We can taste food in general, a donut, for example. Okay, so we have this, this ability, hearing. So we can hear. Uh, we can hear. We have the sight, this ability, the sight. And that's why we can. What is the verb? The verb. Ah, that's, that's your ability. We can see. Very good. Okay. All right. And we also have the ability of smell. And we can we can smell. Ah, what can we smell? Can you tell me? Flowers. Flowers. What else? Exactly. Okay. And we also have the sense touch. And that's why we can touch. Okay. What can we touch? Can you tell me? What is in my what can we touch? Can 
Can we touch people? Things. I don't know. Things. Right. What, what okay. is that? Um, and fans. Uh, yeah. Touch. <laughs> Sam. Exactly. Uh -huh. Very good. You can touch your cell phone. That's how it works. You see, we can touch things. Okay, so we usually, we're usually born with these abilities. Okay, so you see, so this is the way it works. We say can all the time with all subjects, and we say can't when it's negative for all subjects as well. Okay, take a look at this. We're gonna do this exercise first. All right, so question for you. How do you read this word here? Can you tell me? Language. Languages. 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 Very good. It's plural. Languages. Rip it with me. Languages. 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 How do you read this word here? Project. 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 Very good. Okay. All right. How do you read the positive word here? How do you read it? Can you tell me? Can. Can. It's a short sound. Can. Can. Okay. In the negative form, we say? Can. 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 Can't. Very can. good. Yes, we can emphasize on the letter T. Can't. Can't. Okay. Now, let's complete these five exercises. Number one, we say, I'm sorry. What do we say? What do you think? I can't help you today. Okay. Very good. Number two. I just... Number two. Can. can. I just can. I just can. I just can what? I'm always late. Can or can't? Can't. I can't. Uh, can't. Ah, it can't, right. There you go. Number three. Can. Can. Okay. Can. So. so Look, can you read it? Look. Look, it's right there. Right and there. Can, right you, can there. You, can see you see it? it? Okay. It's so obvious. So so obvious. obvious. Very good. One more time. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it's it? obvious. It's obvious. It's so it's, obvious. It's so it's obvious. obvious. <laughs> Very good. Number four. I can I speak, speak German. German. I can speak German. I I like I live I live Germany, Germany eight years. Eight years. there you go and the last one she doesn't she have a driving license she can can drive oh, she can drive right she can't drive rip it with me she can't drive she can't can drive. Drive. drive there you go very good very good okay so talents and abilities which of these can you do? Which of these do you have? For example, Brenda Yvette, can you give me three examples of three things you can do? I can. Okay. I can. Um, draw, paint, mm -hmm. and dance. Oh, wow. That's great. Now, any type of music? Can you dance any type of music? Mm. I don't have uh, a specific music. Oh, you can do uh, anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Great. Stephanie Michelle, three abilities that you have. Mm, I can speak English. 
I can whistle mm -hmm. um, and I can sing. There you go. Erika Mercedes, three abilities that you have. I can cook. Mm -hmm. I can um, dance. I can mm -hmm. uh, act. 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 Wow. <laughs> this is so this is so difficult. That's nice. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Medardo. Let's see. Three active, three three abilities that you have or or talents. Okay. Let me see. <clears throat> I can drive. Mm -hmm. I can play soccer. Okay. Uh, I. Can play the guitar. All right. Yeah, no, no. The guitar. The guitar. The guitar. Is that uh, an acoustic guitar or the electric one? Mm, the twice instruments. Oh. Okay. So not only the guitar, other instruments. The, the the guitar acoustic and guitar electric guitar oh both okay very good mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm sorry okay there you go great let's see um victor victor can you tell us about three abilities that you have yes uh, i i can take photos mm -hmm. um, I can to cook, maybe. Okay, mm. repeat with me. I can okay. cook. And, um, I uh, I have a uh, maybe um, I don't know. I don't remember, but maybe I ah uh, yes yes yes. I can play the guitar. Okay, the guitar. One more time, the guitar. The guitar. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay, so give me one second. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's talk about let's talk about these guys. Do you remember their names? Tom. Yes, Tom Jerry. Tom Jerry. Tom Jerry. Sylvester. Okay, let's do it in English. Let's see. So, Sylvester and. Sylvester. Violin. Tweety. Repeat with me. Tweety. Do you remember? I know you know it. Tweety. Tweety, right? Okay. So, for example. So, Sylvester. Sylvester. Can what can he do? Can run fast. Okay. Can't run fast. Can't so, fly. Sylvester can't fly. Can okay. Very good. Who can? Who can ride a bike? Can you guys tell me? Tommy can ride a bike. Sylvester. Tommy. And Sylvester. Okay. And who can run fast? And who can play the piano? Jerry. Jerry. And who can sing well? Uh, Tweety. 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 Tweety, right? Tweety. There you go. Okay, Tweety. very good. Okay, so right now it's it's your chance to have a conversation, okay, with your classmates. I'm going to send you two small groups, okay? So all you have to do is answer the questions below. Don't write anything. I don't need that. Just speak, okay? I just need to listen to you. 
For example, let's discuss question number one. What is question number one? Can you tell me? What can, can you do, you at, do at, all? at all? Exactly. At all. We're going to say can't. Can't you do at all? Can't. I can't drive. I can't drive at all. What about you guys? At all is like saying en lo absoluto, like zero at all. So what can't I, you do? Uh huh. I can't swim at all. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. There are many things we can't do. All right. So this is what you have to do. Answer the questions in groups, okay? So ask your classmates, your classmates by their names. Okay, so say um, Luis, say Carlos, say Stephanie. Okay, when you ask your questions, okay? So here we go. Hello. I don't hear you, Carlos. Hello. Yes. One moment. I I Hello, hello. I'm going to send you to other groups. Um, I guess we're having some issues. So please accept the invitations. So I'm sending students to a different room. What can you do? At all. At all. Uh, uh, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Now my 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 hair or my brain is is it, it's white. <laughs> it's blank? It's blank, yes. Oh, don't worry. The, 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 the week 
is very very hard. Oh, I can't. Uh, uh -huh. was, was, uh, the week was was hard. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But, That's Friday. Yeah. Yes, yes, but the what can you do? Mm -hmm. At all. At all. At all. Yeah, when you say at all is like en lo absoluto, like zero. Like it's a oh. no, no. For example, I can't speak Chinese at all. Okay. I, I zero Chinese, you see? So at all means absoluto, right? Like it's negative. Okay, in the in this in this question the uh, 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 one example is I can't uh, I can't play guitar. The guitar? Or, or, mm -hmm. The guitar mm -hmm. at all or, or, exactly. or mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I can't play the guitar at all. Great, very good. Okay. And and you, Mariela? I can't drive at all. Drive? Yes. Okay. Okay, the the the, the second. What food can you eat? Why can't you eat it? I can't. Um... What does mean papaya? Uh, papaya? It's the same word. How do you say papaya in English? Papaya. Oh, okay. And I can eat papaya because I I don't like it. Okay. You? And me? Uh, I can it uh, I can eat wait I can eat uh, uh, carao <laughs> oh, oh uh, I can yeah. <laughs> No, I can't. Okay. Because I don't have disability. I don't know why. I remember when I was a child, I draw, but now, no. Okay. Thank you. Select other classmate, please. Okay. Uh, Alexander, uh, who can you trust? Can you trust? Trust. Uh, I don't remember. The... Is question number four? Uh, yeah. Question number four. Is number four or number three? Next to the. Okay. Uh, who in your life? Okay, give me a second. Who in your life? Can you go to for advice? Um, who, who? That question means that there is a person you can ask for advice. So who is that person? Uh, for example, um, I, you can, you can, you can, um, mm -hmm. what's the verb? You can, you can practice, uh, or, or you can eat, eat healthy you can have you can you can eat healthy oh uh, um i guess the question is different you are asking question number you're discussing question number three or four before 
Four. Four. Number four. four. Okay, so who in your life can you go to for advice? Uh, for example, when you need advice, <coughs> I'm sorry. When you need advice, do you go to your mother, to your father, to your friends? to your neighbors who do you go to um, personally i i go for a, i go to advice for in um, i go for advice yes. too one more time i go for i go to for advice for advice to to my grandmother. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Because she is uh, older and mm -hmm. she ha has many advices for me. And she okay. yes. Okay, very good, very good. So you say you should say she has so much advice. Repeat with me. So much advice for me. Very okay. good. Thank you. She has. She has. I, I don't like the starry, starry eggs. I don't know. What was three hours? Oh, what? Yes, I, I, I ate. I ate them too much, and I I don't like now. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that's some something happened when you eat it a lot. Okay. Mm, I think that we finished with the second. Okay, okay. number number three. Yeah. The teacher, the teacher, uh, um, facilitated. Uh, right in the shot, fry eggs or uh, over, over fried ECF. eggs. Okay, fried eggs. Yeah, Thanks, thank you. Miss. Thank you, Miss. Welcome. <laughs> okay, number three, Stephanie. Uh, what can you draw? Who can you trust? I can draw, draw. Um, uh, I am really bad with the artistic things, so I can try nothing, I think. And who can you, who can trust? That I think is a different question. Mm. I think that I, I, I don't know, it sounds weird, the two questions, but who oh, can? Oh, the two questions, those are two different questions. Yeah, like, who can confia like that? Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, so you say, I trust, and then you say the name of the person. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. I mm -hmm. trust. Mm, my best friend because I have fourteen years to meet her, so I think that I trust in her a lot. Let me help you. I have known her. I have known her for four fourteen years. Fourteen. You see the chat? One more time. I trust in my best friend because I have known her for fourteen years old. Very good, very good. Thanks, teacher.
it's a organization about a child, children who, who disappear on civil war in El Salvador. Oh. Yes. He worked with human rights uh, uh, for families from the civil war and, and um, another type of cases for example uh, when they have when we have a um a unusual adoption and we help a uh, mothers from the country from el salvador and we have a, a localization i don't know how to say a uh, sede here in el salvador but uh, we work with another uh, institutions or a uh, or ONGs uh, with from another country, for example, Guatemala, uh, La, uh, Las Madres de Mayo in Argentina, for example, and and it's very very good. <laughs> I don't know. And interesting. Yes. Okay. How wonderful! What's the name of that company? Institute. Yeah, uh, sorry. Sorry. Association Pro Busca. It's okay. yes, it's oh, nice. uh, yes. I was listening to you. Thank you. So, okay. um, so when you said sede, you can say a branch. It's in the chat. You can check the chat. A branch. You see. And uh, when you said ONGs in English, we can say NGOs. You see, mm -hmm. NGOs. It's the other NGOs. way around. Mm -hmm. Oh. That was a wonderful explanation. Yes. Um, uh, really, I, I, I can't draw at all, at all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Who can you trust? Okay, I I trust in my brother. Uh, he's he's brother. my brother and my best friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is in the question? Karina? Um, Jack and I think. Me? Uh, Jack and... <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> <Me dar, laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the next question. Karina. <laughs> okay, uh, who in your life can you go to for advice? Me or Jacqueline? Uh, the number the number <laughs> three. I I don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <Number> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can you draw? Draw. Uh, I I can draw a uh, the sea. I like I like trap. Okay. Welcome back. Okay. So for the next activity, now you need to ask the questions. Okay. So first of all, I need you to, to ask me for pronunciation or for a meaning, or are we okay with the words over here? Are we okay with the vocabulary? Let's confirm. How do you pronounce this one? Design. 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 Design a website. Exactly. How a do you website. pronounce this one? Yes. Yes. 
Marathon. 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 Okay. And this one? Jokes. 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 Okay. Jokes. 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 Okay. And how do you pronounce this one? Build. 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 Okay, so now your job is to ask a question. For example, Brenda, can you ask Luis Fermán a question? We are using can. We're speaking about uh, abilities. Mm -hmm. Can you can you run? A marathon? Oh, interesting. Yes, I can. Okay, very good. I can't. That's nice. Very good. Luis, can you ask a question? All right, ask Victor a question. Ask Victor a question. Okay, Victor, can you design a website? Yes, I can because I'm a social communicator. Oh, wonderful! How <laughs> and I know, okay. and, yes, and I know about uh, I don't know in, informatica. Informatics. Informatics. Okay. All right. How wonderful! That was the right question to ask. <laughs> yes. Victor, can you okay. ask a question? Uh, ask, ask. Let's see. Ask Gabriela Reyes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, can you edit a video? Okay, Gabriela, let's see. Can you? Uh, I don't can. All right, what's negative for can? can? One more I, time. I can't edit a video. All right, nice. Very good answer. Gabriela, ask, let's see, ask Erica a question. Gabriela? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Erica, you can, can? write a, uh, uh, Erica can write a horse uh -uh. you are speaking you are speaking with erica the question is direct so you say erica can you and then the verb one more time erica can can you ride a horse oh. erica no i cannot not ride a horse okay erica question for Question for Alexander, Erica. Alexander, can fix a computer? One more time. And can you fix a computer? Uh -huh. uh, no, I cannot fix a computer. All right, very good. Okay, so I see you guys are using cannot. That's fine too. Uh, if, you, if you don't wanna say can't, you can say cannot. All together, you see, this is this is another possibility. I can't or I cannot. The two answers are good. Okay, Alexander, one question for, one question for, let's see, for Jacqueline. Question for Jacqueline, Alexander. Okay, Jacqueline, can you bake cookies? Hmm. Uh, yes, yes. I I can cookies. Can. Elaborate cookies. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Jacqueline, no. one question for Jose Alonso. Okay, Jose Alonso, can you play chess? Ah. Okay. Can yes, you can. play chess? Yes. Yes, I can chess. Chess. Repeat one more time. I can play chess. I can play chess. Wonderful. Very good. Jose Alonso, one question for Osmaro. Uh, Osmaro. Uh, Osmaro, 
can can you take uh, good photos? Yeah, I can good photo. Take good photos. One more time. Take good photos. Take good photos. Awesome. Very good. And the last question, Osmaro. The question uh, goes to Mariela de Mata. Mariela. Uh, can you fix a computer? Or... Mm -hmm. Can you fix a computer? Um, what what does it mean? What's the meaning? Okay. Can you make it work? When the computer is broken, can you make it work again? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, me neither. Okay, very good, very good, guys. Okay, good. So you see, when you ask a question and the question is direct, can you, and then the verb. Very good. Okay, let's do a little listening. All right, let's see. Um, let me see. Daisy, Stephanie, help us read the instructions here. We're going to do listening right now. Okay. Listen to three people talk uh, about their abilities. Right. J for Joshua and for Monica or A for Anthony on the things they can do well. Exactly, thank you. Okay, so we're going to listen to these people and we are not going to write numbers. We are going to write names to see what person can do what ability or uh, activity. Okay, so let's listen. We are going to listen three times, okay? And you have to write the letter of the person's name, okay? So I'm going to mute your microphones right now, and I'm going to play it three times, okay? So here we go. Listening. Are you good at sports? Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Write J, Joshua, M, Monica, or A, Anthony, on the things they can do well. One. Are you good at sports, Joshua? No, not really, but I like to swim. I can <laughs> swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. But I can't sing. Two. What do you do on weekends, Monica? I love to cook for my friends and family. I can cook well. And I love to take photos with my new camera. I think I can do that really well, too. Three. That's a beautiful picture, Anthony. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a designer so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a laptop, so I can use computers really well, too. Oh, I can paint, too, but I don't paint for my job. It's just something I do for fun. Okay, here we go for a second time. Okay, um, if it's better for you, you can write the numbers on a piece of paper, the numbers. And then you listen and look at the pictures when the person says their name. Okay. So let's take a second to grab pen and paper. And then we will listen again. So, okay. So here we go again. Listening. Are you good at sports? Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Write J, Joshua, M, Monica, or A, Anthony, on the things they can do well. One. Are you good at sports, Joshua? 
No, not really. But I like to swim. I can swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well. But I can't sing. Two. What do you do on weekends, Monica? I love to cook for my friends and family. I can cook well. And I love to take photos with my new camera. I think I can do that really well, too. Three. That's a beautiful picture, Anthony. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a designer, so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a laptop, so I can use computers really well, too. Oh, I can paint, too. But I don't paint for my job. It's just something I do for fun. Okay, are you ready or do you want to listen to it for the last time? Last time, please. Last time. Okay, here we go. Listening. Are you good at sports? Listen to three people talk about their abilities. Write J, Joshua, M, Monica, or A, Anthony, on the things they can do well. One. Are you good at sports, Joshua? No, not really, but I like to swim. I can swim very well. I often go swimming on the weekends. And I can play the piano well, but I can't sing. Two. What do you do on weekends, Monica? I love to cook for my friends and family. I can cook well. And I love to take photos with my new camera. I think I can do that really well, too. Three. That's a beautiful picture, Anthony. Oh, thank you very much. I'm a designer, so I can draw really well. I often do my work on a laptop, so I can use computers really well, too. Oh, I can paint, too. But I don't paint for my job. It's just something I do for fun. All right. OK, so let's check what Joshua, Monica, and Anthony can do. OK, for example, Anthony can, what can he do? Draw. Swim. Draw. Draw. Okay. Okay. I use laptop. Take picture. Use computer. Okay, Anthony can draw. What else you said? Use laptop. Oh, use a computer and, and your laptop. Uh -huh. Take photos. Paint. 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 And it will pain right yeah. yeah we understand we understand when they said that's a wonderful picture he's speaking about the drawing okay what about monica what about monica okay so monica Good. can take photos yes. Good and well. Uh -huh. She can cook well. And the last one is? That's it, right? Two. Yes. And then we have, exactly. And then we have Joshua, Joshua right? Joshua. Okay, and what can Joshua do? Joshua can swim, swim play, play piano, play to piano, and play Okay. Ah, he can sing well. Okay. He can. This he can. can. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. You got it right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So now let me share my screen for the next activity. Okay. So for the next activity, we have two short Listen. readings. Very short. Very short readings. Okay. So. For example, 
we are just going to do, well, we're going to do both. Okay. So I'm going to have you help me read. Okay. So we have some awesome, awesome sports records. You see, awesome. Okay. So the first one is, we're going to read every, every syllable. Chalamandala. You see? Chalamandala. Exactly. And the next one is Kemalasa. Kemalasa. Exactly. Very good. And then this word here, do you see it? Mohiniyasam. You see? Mohiniyasam. We are reading everything the way we read this. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we will start with Kalamandalam Kemalata of India. Okay, okay, very good. So let's see. We're going to start. We're going to start okay. with is this is a tongue twister. Okay, so Javier, are you there, Javier? Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. We're going to start with Mariela then. Mariela de Mata. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. As an imagination, it's not for But? It is not for Thank you. Madeleine, let's continue. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, she can dance and dance and dance in fact. Carla eh, Mandala mm -hmm. <laughs> can dance for eh, 123 hours and 15 minutes. There you go. Thank you. Okay, Victor, let's continue with the next one. Mama, no that's the longest dance marathon on record. Kalamandalam special dance is from India. Thank you. And the last part is for Daisy. Here we go. Okay. It's called. It's called. One more time. It's called. It's called. The. <laughs> it's a very different. With every syllable. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. dance. There you go. Okay, people. So, <laughs> what is the name of the person, or what's the person's name? Can you tell me? Kalamandala. Okay. And why? Yeah, yeah, very good. And why is Kalamandala? And why is Kalamandalam so special? What's her special ability? Dance, she dance. can dance. dance. And dance. She can dance, right? Yeah, it's special to dance. It's not for dance running. Dance. She can dance and dance and exactly. dance. Exactly. She can dance, right? Oh, okay. She, how, for, for how long can she dance? 123 hours. Oh, um, can you imagine? Minutes. Can you imagine that? non-stop like in a row okay and what is the name of the dance she For can one, do 100 what is the name of the very good you guys are great okay now we're going to speak about oro oro very good thank you now we're going to speak about oro the skateboarding dog Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with, let's see. Erica, are you there? The skateboarding dog. Yes. Okay, Erica, help us read. Do you know about Otto? Otto likes surfing, skateboarding, and playing soccer. Thank you. And Lisette, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Lisa, you start over here and you, oh, where do you pause? Okay, here. Yeah, thank you. 
Okay. Otto is a champion and skateboarder, but he's a duck from Lima, Peru. Okay, thank you. Carlos, help us finish. Otto has the record for skateboarding through the lips of 30 people. Okay, very good. Let's see, repeat with me. Through. Through the leg. Through. Through. One more time. Through. Through. Look, we're going to place our tongue here. Through. 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 It's an exercise like this. Look. Through. 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 I need, I need to see your tongue. Through. 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 One more time. Through. Through. You need to stick out your tongue. Through. Through. There you go. Okay. Ah, okay. Who is Otto? Who is Otto? He's a dog. And what can he do? What can the dog do? Skateboarding, surfing, and playing soccer. Oh, and what is his record? Champion skateboarder. He's ah. working through three, three, 30 people. 30 people, right? There you go. Okay, let's take a look at that skateboarding dog. Let's see. This is Otto. Oh, it's a true history. It's a true story. Yeah, the two the two texts are true. One second, let me share my screen again. Okay, here we go. He is awesome, right? So this is exactly what the text says. Like, he can skateboard through the legs of how many people? 30. There you go. He's awesome. All right, now let's talk about you guys. What things can you do? What things can you do? For example, let's see. At work, like in your job, what things can you do every day? um let's see i'm gonna give you like two examples of what i can do and then you talk about yourself okay so let's see so for example i can speak english and i can teach others what about you guys what things can you do can you tell me do i have a volunteer Oh, calm down. Let's see. I can, <laughs> I can, I can listen calls. Listen to calls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anybody else? I can understand uh, when the people speak English. Good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Alexander, you wanted to say something. I can, I can many call forms. Oh. I can make. Ah, I can make phone many. Calls. I can make many, many phone calls. Great. Very good. Javier, tell us. I can work in Excel. All right. Very good. That's that's nice. Not everybody can do that. Anybody else? I can help people to decide what food is better for her pets. Oh, that's a, that's a difficult decision. Very good, very good. Yes. Anybody else? Um, I... Yes? I think I can hear the people, hear the 
persons when when she when they talk to me. Listen to people. Okay, very good. But I cannot stand in people. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. You get you can assist. You mean assist? Can assist yes, people? assist. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, I heard two other people. Can you tell me what you can do? I can give a new opportunity to a new job to another person. Oh, you work at ATAR, right? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, in HR. Very good. Anybody else? Uh, for example, I can prepare legal, legal documents. Oh, okay. Interesting. What I else? can I can do I can do plays uh, with my employees. Mm. Oh, can you help me understand that one a little bit more? One more time. I can. I can do plays. Mm -hmm. Play. I can do play plays. Like like obras de teatro like that. No plays. I can I can do plays. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, how do you say that in Spanish? Yo puedo hacer juegos con mis empleados. Ah, okay, very good. Um, I can do games. Ah, games. Okay, I can do games with my employees. Okay, that's wonderful. That's actually very good. Anything else? Anybody else? Who wants to give it a try? What do you guys, uh, what abilities do you apply at work? I can drink coffee. <laughs> a lot of coffee. Okay, very good. That's a, that's a nice ability. Anything else? I can do visual therapies. Oh, interesting. Anything else? Anybody else? I can go early three times in the week. Oh, good. So that is a that is an opportunity you have. Very good. So you can leave early. Yes. yes? So you see, I can leave early. Repeat with me. I I can. Uh -huh. I can leave early. I can leave early. Uh, okay. Three times a week, you said right. That's, that's wonderful. All right. Very good job, people. All right, so today we talked about our abilities. I know you already knew the topic, but we just needed to refresh it. Okay, so we're now going to the last part of our class. I'm going to take your attendance. Did you guys join Schoology yesterday? Did you have the chance to join Schoology? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah? Okay. Is everybody on Schoology? Or does, no, does someone not know about what I'm talking about? Not the teacher for me. Not, the... not yet. Okay. So, you know, it's easy. Um, Victor, Victor, do you have a Schoology account? No. No. Okay. Um, and you're Okay, so this, this account is for you to do homework, for you to have access to material, and also for you to do exams, and for me to take your attendance. So, thinking about this, you want to, you want to use Schoology from your computer or from your phone? You're going to use Schoology from your computer or from your phone, Victor? In my case, I'm going to use my computer. Your computer. Okay, so yeah. um, so basically all you have to do is this. You see, you go to Schoology. Uh, I think Jessica shared the link yesterday. Okay, so it's the first, it's the first link that you get. This one. Okay. Um I'm going to log out to show you. So when you want to, 
Okay, so when you want to sign in, you see you have to click on sign in. And then you have to use um, a Gmail account or an email account, anybody, any, and sorry, any account. And then you type in a password and then you log in. Okay, so this is how you create your account. But the first time, it asks you for a code. What we're going to do is that I'm going to send you a video, okay, on how to access Schoology, okay? So I'm going to send you a video for you to create your account. Are we okay? Okay, thank okay. you. So, uh, from your I need an email from um, Gmail or Hotmail any, or whatever. Any email, any email. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. I'm going to send you an, a video, okay, and you're going to do it in less than five minutes. Okay. I need to do this this uh, account the today or I um can I do this tomorrow? You can do it tomorrow. That's okay. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah. So okay. Bottom Okay, so I'm going to take your attendance and I'm going to see you on Monday. So let's see. Luis Antonio Ala. Hi, Miss. See you on Monday, Stephanie Aguilar. Present. Bye bye, Estrella. Bye. Have yeah, a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Um, let's see. She's here. This is Stephanie Avelar. Here, Miss. Bye bye. bye. Alexander Armando Ayala. Present, teacher. Bye bye, Mariela de Mata. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Carlos Fernando Gaitan. Present. Happy weekend. For you too. Let's see. Rosa Hernandez. No, Enriquez. Rosa Enriquez. Rosa is here. Pamela Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night. You on Monday. Jose Lizano. Present teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Medardo Luna. Good night, Miss. Good night. Javier Mancia. Good night, teacher. Good night. Carla Oliva. Present, teacher. Good night. Very good. Enil Compas. Here, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. Good Lisa Abigail Portillo. Here, teacher. Here. Good night. Jacqueline Noemi Ramos. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay. Gabriela Reyes. Present. Bye bye. And Erika Santos. Present. Uh, teacher, uh, if, you, if you don't uh, be in the. Uh, 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 because uh, I don't uh, read, I don't open the uh, schoology. Oh, can you repeat that, please? Uh, I, I am not in the list. Okay, so if you're not on the list, you go to courses, you see? Yes. My courses. Okay. Okay, give me one second. Okay, and then you go to join a course and oh, okay. click join a course click on that and here you paste the access code you paste you paste the access code that we shared yesterday okay mm -hmm. and that's it you click on join and you will be on my list okay okay and i would see in the weekend or right now oh yeah no do it on the weekend that's fine 
Okay. Yeah, and we don't, we don't lose the attendance for, for... No, you don't lose it because I have it on Zoom, on the Zoom oh, record. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a problem, but do it on the weekends. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Okay. So good night, people. See you on Monday. Sure. Have a great weekend. See you, yeah. Tommy. Good night. Uh, you take my, my assistant? Your attendant? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Give me a second. Did you join the course? Osmaro, what did you? Yeah, yeah, I took it. Osmaro Silva. Mm -hmm. I have yeah, it. okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.